Thank you for considering A-Level Spanish at Northampton School for Boys. My name's Mrs Edwards. So why choose Spanish at A-Level? First and foremost, I think you need to be a really keen linguist with a genuine love of languages and of communicating in Spanish, coupled with a desire to find out more about the culture of not just Spain, but also countries in Latin America. So with this in mind, the expectation is that you would want to follow the news in these countries. And we actively encourage students to regularly watch and listen to Euronews. In order to be able to cope with the requirements of the A-level course, you need to have a minimum of grade seven in Spanish at GCSE. You also need to have grade five in either English language or English literature at GCSE and grade four in maths. This is a two year course with all exams taking place at the end of the two year period. The exam board is AQA and there are three papers that students are required to sit. Paper one is worth 50% of the overall A-level mark. And this is a combination of listening and reading comprehensions, translation into both Spanish and English and reading and listening summaries. Basically, students are required to summarise the key points of both a text that they've read and a text that they've listened to. Paper two is worth 20% of the overall A-level mark, and this focuses on the novel and the film that we study. In this paper, students are required to write two essays, one on the text uh, El Otro Árbol de Guernica by Luis de Castresana, and one essay on the film that we study, Ocho Apellidos Vascos, or A Spanish Affair. Paper three is worth 30% of the overall A-level mark, and this is a speaking exam lasting roughly 25 minutes in total. So the first part it lasts for five to six minutes and students discuss a card on a topic covered during the course. The second part, students give a two minute presentation on a topic of their choice, followed by nine to 10 minutes of questioning by the examiner on their findings. So what do we actually study at Spanish A-level? Well, the course is divided into four themes. Uh, in the first year, in year 12, we look at aspects of Hispanic society. So things such as the influence of the Catholic Church, um, family life and changing attitudes towards marriage and divorce, um, the internet and social media, equality, gay rights, women's rights. We also cover artistic culture in the Hispanic world. So we look at things like the positive and negative role models in the music industry, in the world of sport, in the world of film and television. We also study fiestas or festivals, um, gastronomy. We even make gazpacho. Um, we look at regional languages, cultural heritage, art and architecture. For example, the influence of Moors on Spanish architecture and music such as flamenco and tango. Uh, students are even taught to dance sevillanas, the popular form of flamenco. In the second year, in year 13, the two themes are multiculturalism in Hispanic society, where students look at immigration and racism, and coexistence of different cultures and religions in both Spain and Latin America, and aspects of political life in the Hispanic world, where we study political parties and look at unemployment in Spain, and Latin America, look at Franco and the Civil War, Spanish monarchy, dictatorships, uh, demonstrations and social protests and strikes and the role of trade unions. In addition to this, students study a novel, El Otro Arbol de Guernica by Luis de Castresana, and we watch and study the film Ocho Apellidos Vascos by Emilio Martinez Lázaro, uh, otherwise known as A Spanish Affair. Students are prepared thoroughly for the speaking cards that they're required to do in the exam. In year 12, they have a 20 minute one to one speaking session every week. And in year 13, a 45 minute one to one speaking session every week um, in which they're given the opportunity to prepare and practice the speaking cards that they'll do in the exam, which are based on what we're currently covering in class at that time. Students also do an individual research project or IRP. And this is a really interesting element of the course because students are given free reign to research a topic of their choice. 
So it has to be related to an aspect of Hispanic society. So it could be something like a period of history or it could be on an artist or a dictator or politician or political party. Um, it could be on bullfighting or animal rights or the royal family, basically whatever really interest, interests them. In the speaking exam, they're required to give a two minute presentation in Spanish on their research, followed by nine to 10 minutes of questioning on their findings. So each week, the students will have six 45 minute lessons. In addition to that, they have one 20 minute one to one speaking session in year 12 and a 45 minute one to one speaking session in year 13. That's to just reinforce their confidence in communication and speaking skills. There are two teachers um, and we cover a multitude of skills, including listening, reading and writing. One of the big elements of the A-level is the ability to summarise what students have heard or read and also to translate accurately into Spanish and English with a focus on the sort of critique of translation and looking at that in fine detail. We also try to include lots of cultural elements. So as I've just said, we make things like gazpacho, we learn to dance sevillanas, the popular form of flamenco, um, listen to music uh, and use the internet to make it more uh, accessible. Students are required to write essays. We don't tend to focus on this until year 13 when we've consolidated all of their grammar skills and confidence. And the, uh, there's always a focus on speaking both in the classroom and in the individual sessions. With regard to extracurricular opportunities on offer at NSB within the Modern Languages Department, we have in the past run a trip purely for sixth form students to Barcelona and were planning to run one to Seville, but obviously that was severely restricted due to the COVID-19 uh, restrictions. So that's something that we will look to offer in the future. Um, in addition, students are encouraged to uh, volunteer to help students lower down the school in both key stage three and key stage four with their language skills so that may be practice with speaking skills or helping them with writing skills and that's something that we'd actively encourage students to take part in i think the thing to remember when studying any language is that you're offering something else in addition to other skills that you may have. So often students may do a particular degree such as engineering or law, and then they have Spanish as an additional subject that they can offer. And this is extremely desirable um, in the world of work.